Hi guys! Today I thought I would show you how I play with my three month old. Riley is 13 weeks tomorrow or she is exactly three months on Wednesday which today is Monday. So I just thought this would be a fun video. I've watched a couple of these videos and I just thought they're really fun to share. So I hope you enjoy. This is how I play with Riley the most often. It's very simple, but it's also the most effective. Basically, I just get straight into her face and I talk to her with direct eye contact. And the direct eye contact is very important. Um, it lets her know that I am talking to her. She does not have the same response if she just hears my voice and I'm not looking straight in her eyes. And when I'm talking to her, I like to pause and give her time to respond so we have a conversation going on. Um, here, she just got a little bit fussy, so I was picking her up and basically just bringing her into a sitting position, which will also help, hopefully, her development for learning how to sit up in the months to come. Um, yeah, but that was just because she got fussy, and honestly, she's not always in the mood to play in certain ways, so I just go by instinct and switch up what I'm doing based on her mood. So now I'm going to switch her around and I want to show you basically how I like to roll her around and um, it basically puts her into tummy time, but this is to practice um, rolling for her. She hasn't actually started rolling on her own yet, although she has a few times, but it seems to be more on accident than purposefully. So I like to roll her back and forth. She really enjoys it. Um, a lot of times she'll smile really big. Um, as I'm doing this, although today she was actually a bit fussier. So that of course is the day that I chose to record this video. That's just my luck, isn't it? But, um, yeah, she really loves being rolled back and forth. And this is actually a more new development for her to, um, actually really, really enjoy this. Um, she seems to have, um, after she basically had her 12 week, um, growth spurt, um, she also seemed to go through her mental leap as well. And she just seems to enjoy playing in a different way than she previously did. Although we did do a lot of these same things before, she's having a much different response to them. And she seems just to be so much stronger in a lot of her positions and just having a lot more fun with them. So this is really simple. I just keep rolling her from her back to her front, from her back to her front. And I do different amounts of pressure at different times to kind of let her control the movement a little bit. Obviously, she's not fully controlling it because I said she's not really able to yet, but um, I'm just trying to get her used to that motion, and she seems to have a lot of fun with it, so it's a great way to play, and sometimes I'll get straight up into her face while I'm doing it, and other times I'll put like a mirror in front of her or a toy in front of her. Um, so now I'm pulling out the boppy to show you um, how I also do tummy time with her on the boppy, um, just because I don't know. Sometimes she gets fussier if she's on the ground doing it. Sometimes she prefers to do it with the boppy. Sometimes she prefers to do it without the boppy. It's just a different option, basically. Um, it just elevates her top half a bit more, so it's a bit more comfortable on her belly. So um, just depending on how her belly's feeling, I guess, really is the difference between whether she wants to be directly on the floor or if she wants to be elevated up from the boppy. Um, yeah, so she really just seems to enjoy that. And the dribble bib is there basically just to catch her spit because I don't want to have to wash the cover for the boppy as often. I know it sounds really lazy, but she spits pretty much every time I do it, every time I put her in the position. So it's just easier to put the bib down or muslin down to catch some of her spit. Just in case people were wondering why I put that there. So I thought I would just show you a side view of what it looks like basically when I've got her in her tummy time. Um, and basically I just like to pat her butt while she's in it because she's gassy and I know a lot of babies are gassy, um, at this time period and she just seems to enjoy having her butt tapped because I think it helps, um, move the gas around and basically she really enjoys that. So just showing you that. So now I'm just going to shift her back onto her back again and show you something that actually... Riley's daddy um, started doing with her and she absolutely loves it and this has actually been a savior especially during um, really fussy periods of hers when she gets really upset this seems to calm her down rather quickly and it's been really great during um, nappy changes or diaper changes when she's gotten really upset this will usually calm her down so you can kind of finish it back off but um, we just take a muslin cloth or any kind of like light cloth and just 
We keep very lightly running it over her face and she absolutely loves it. I mean, it gets her really excited and she just smiles so big and um, she loves it. I mean, you can see her legs are kicking like crazy. She likes to move her arms around because she just gets really happy when we do this and she doesn't seem to get tired of it. Like you could just keep doing it for ages and she really loves it. So, you know, try it out with your baby if you've got a baby and see if they love it too. Riley absolutely adores this. Another thing that she really seems to enjoy is just basically if you kind of do like, I'm not actually doing push-ups, but I'm coming into her face and then going away from it and I'll kiss her, I'll talk with her and, and engage with her and let her talk back as well. And it's just another way that she really likes interacting with me. And I didn't take any video of this, unfortunately, um, but obviously another way that I play with her is basically just carry her around jiggle her, talk to her. She loves being stood right in front of the mirror while I'm holding her. And I'll just, you know, have her looking in the mirror and I'll say things like, look at the baby, look at the baby. And she just gets like the biggest, huge, smiliest grin on her face. Um, she loves looking in the mirror. Um, I'm pretty sure she doesn't know it's actually her, but she just loves looking at the reflections in the mirror and she gets really excited. So you know, just carry her around and jiggle her about. And that's just another way to play with your baby. But I didn't get any of that on film because it's kind of hard when I'm doing this on my own without my husband because he's at work um, to film for me. So, you know, carrying the baby and trying to film at the same time is just a bit much for me. So um, I think now I'm trying to show how she just likes to play with some toys, but I'm pretty sure I think at this point she got a bit fussy. So we didn't do that position. But that little peacock thing there is um, a toy from the brand Lamaz, and they make really great sensory toys because they're really bright. They've got a lot of colors to them and, um, you know, they make a lot of different noises. So there's a crinkly bit to it. There's a squeaky bit to it. It's got a mirror on it. There's a jingly bit on it. Um, there's lots of different textures to feel. You can see the back of him is in black and white. So it's, um, really, really easy for her to focus on. So sometimes she likes to actually look at the back of it. Um, and at three months, she's just starting. She, like she's been doing it kind of for a couple weeks, but she's working on getting better and better at it, basically grasping things and holding things. So she's not doing this right now, but um, sometimes when she's playing, she really just loves having a toy held out in front of her until she grabs it. And once she grabs it, then I just let her sit with it um, for as long as she wants until she drops it. And then I'll just, you know, pick it back up and I'll offer it to her again, let her grasp it again. Um, and we'll just go back and forth doing that until she gets tired of it. And, um, usually you can tell if, you know, your baby's tired of doing something cause, um, you know, they've just, they'll change their expression. They'll look to the side as if they're completely disinterested. Like she is right now. She's looking to the side. She's got no interest in doing that, but you can see she did grab the toy. Um, you know, sometimes they actually start talking, like they'll start cooing, but they'll do it in like an annoyed kind of a way. So those are all cues for me to stop and try something else with her, or maybe she doesn't want to play at all. Um, yeah, but sometimes just playing with toys, just holding them in front of her is all she wants to do. But I think because I've in taping this video, I've switched her around so much. She's like kind of losing interest because she's like, what are you doing? Like, why won't you focus and just play with me in one way? Um, but yeah, with the grasping, she loves playing around with grasping. And you can tell that she gets really excited because she's like learning new things and developing in new ways. And, you know, things basically seem really simple and almost too easy to you. Like, why would the baby enjoy that? Like, it gives them a lot of joy. And I mean, she definitely really enjoys it, even though it's nothing big. So now I'm basically just putting her into her play gym because she really wants to play in her play gym. Um, yeah, so this isn't really me playing with her. This is just another option, basically. If you need something where you can put your baby down that's safe, mm. um, just so you can run out and either, like, use the toilet or, you know, grab yourself something to drink or eat, um, this is one of the ways I like to put her, um, Basically, it's really safe. I mean, I always leave her where I can see her pretty much um, or hear her. And 
she's on the floor, so she can't fall off onto anything. Um, all the toys that are looped on there, they're very secure right now. She can't get them down. Um, you can see that she's grasping like crazy. She loves grasping right now. It's like her favorite thing. Before she was grasping, she was batting. Like she was basically like just, you know, hitting things and letting them move around. But um, yeah, a play gym is a really great thing to have just to have some place to put your baby down where they can play and have a good time. So most of the time, if I leave the room really quickly, she won't even notice that I'm gone. And this would just be another option for where you could put your baby if you um, need to put them down. Um, I wouldn't necessarily leave the room while they're in the bouncer seat, although I will admit I have done. But um, generally, if I keep her in the bouncer seat, it's just because um, I'm folding laundry in the same room with her or I've run into the kitchen to grab a quick drink. Um, and the kitchen I can see her from because it's a very small kitchen attached to a very small living room. So basically, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I play with my daughter. And I hope that, you know, if you have a baby that maybe it's given you some good ideas. If you have any great ideas for how to play with a baby, please share them with me because I don't actually know how to play with a baby. These are just kind of things that have happened either instinctually or I've seen other people doing it that way. Um, yeah, so please do share if you have any ideas on how you play with your baby because I definitely would love to learn and I'm sure Riley would appreciate it very much to have new ways to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.